Our story begins with Grandpa Edgar and Grandma Julie. You might not believe this, but Grandpa Edgar used to be the world's greatest adventurer. Grandma Julie would beg to differ. She was also an adventurer. Edgar would often brush away vines or open doors thought to be undisturbed for generations, only to find Julie was already there having lunch. They competed like this on adventure after adventure. On one adventure, Julie beat Edgar to the top of a long lost pyramid. But the treasure she found was an engagement ring. <gasps> The two of them semi-retired to start a family, and they continued starting that family until they had 42 children. One day, Mom and Dad gave Maxwell and me two amazing gifts. The first was a magic globe that let you travel anywhere in the world. The second was the most amazing notebook. This notebook let you write any word in it, and poof! the word would come to life. Our parents were worried about us turning out to be spoiled little brats. So they sent us out to face the challenges of the outside world. On the road to the city, we ran into an old man who said he was hungry. Maxwell made something to give him. But he played a nasty trick. The apple was rotten. Oh, the old man spat it out as soon as he tasted it and was very, very angry. As he cast some sort of magic, he called us spoiled little kids and then disappeared. It didn't seem like anything had happened. But when Maxwell turned to continue down the road, I couldn't follow him. The old man had put a curse on me that was turning me to stone. We didn't know what to do. Luckily, our brother Edwin's farm was nearby. Boy, you should have seen how angry Edwin was. He couldn't believe what we did to the old man and said we probably deserved what we got. Lucky for us, Edwin knew about starites. Starites are magical objects born out of the happiness of others. When you do enough things to make others happy, you will find Starite. Hopefully, if Maxwell used the notebook's power for good, he could collect enough Starite to remove the curse. Maxwell said, that's it. I'm gonna go out and do good things for all the people I can find. I'm gonna get all the Starites in the world and I'm gonna make you better, Lily. So Maxwell grabbed his notebook and headed for the door. to help Maxwell scrap the pick. Use the notepad. Thank you. 
Select the pig to apply an object. Type an object to increase the size of the pig. How big should we make the pigs are? This, is it big too small? Let's do it huge. How about huge? U G E Oh, looks big. <gasps> it's big. Hints are unlocked over time. Select the hint icon to view available hints. So, which one is hint? Ah, this one. I need wings to help me fly. the pig win the award oh look at this our pig is enormous oh i should play enormous fly create a new object maybe uh yes i give him the wing Blah 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 Hmm Aha Should we have? Let's help it to grow so we give it fertilizer 
or we just have a can, watering can. Maybe watering can. W A T. We have the can. Oh, there's so many things that I never thought before. Watermelon. <laughs> Waterfall. Is that too much? Okay, something else, something else. Make a rim. This. Oh my god. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh wow, that's cool. The plane scare away the other. Oh no! Opportunity reset the level to return all objects while keeping your own shield. Shard. Okay. So. Oh, I scare everybody away. <laughs> no. Okay. So I go to reset. Yeah. Let's reset it. Go! Hi! This is a cat! I give... <laughs> yes! We got it! Yay! You cannot play as Maxwell Brother. Select Maxwell. Like him. Oh, are you sure you want to enter? Yes. Let's see how can we look like. Oh, this is a brother. This is Maxwell. Hmm. No, I like the original one. Let's just keep doing this. Yay! That means I already get the start. Okay. Oh, bus stop. Capital City! 